In today's video, we're gonna break down five reasons why you should not get yourself a Newfoundland. Welcome back to the Fenrir Newfoundland Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviorist, and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible Newfoundland, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Newfoundland companions. So if you love the Newfoundland as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Newfoundland video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five reasons to why you should not be getting yourself a Newfoundland. And at number five, we have to start with their size. The Newfoundland is one of the largest breeds on the planet. They really are huge. And with size comes strength. And it has been said that if you weigh less than your dog, then maybe consider choosing another breed. If your Newfoundland sees something he'd like to investigate, you'll never be able to hold it back and most likely will be that cartoon image of you flying along behind him. Now, amusing for some people around you, potentially, but definitely less so for you. Now, size can also be an issue with where you live. If you live in a smaller apartment, be aware of the fact that your Newfoundland will take up all of the floor space when lying around sleeping. He'll also take up all of your bed if you allow him to sleep there with you. Now, prepare on balancing on the edge of your bed with a small corner of your duvet if you want to live with a Newfoundland and let them sleep on the bed. So if you're a small person living in a city, perhaps a smaller, more suited breed might be better practical for you. At number four, let's talk about activity levels. And if you're a very active person who likes skating, rollerblading, bikes, and other things like that, the Newfoundland, again, isn't a good breed for you. While they do enjoy long walks, hiking, and swimming, a responsible human must be careful to take care of their joints so that they don't get hurt. They are a large breed after all, and too much or too hard exercise simply is not good for them. So if you want to bring your dog on heavy physical activities, you may want to look at a breed that's less heavy and perhaps also a little bit smaller and more athletic to not put too much strain on your dog's body. At number three, we have to talk about grooming. A Newfoundland is a large dog and his coat is also very long and thick and requires tons of grooming. If you're not that interested in grooming your dog, there are a couple of options for you. Either you trim his coat short so that you won't have to worry about the grooming part or quite simply, choose another breed. Hey guys, very quickly, in case you didn't know, we have our perfect puppy program. It's the program that I designed myself as a canine behaviorist to help you guys become a high level canine leader yourself, and then how to be able to take your puppy from the second you bring it home, all the way through to that dream of the perfect canine companion that you've always wanted. So if you want more information on that, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have now gone through that process to extremely high level of success so there's some testimonials you can go and check out more information it's all in the description box below but let's get back into the video you were just watching at number two we're going to have to talk about that love of water the newfoundland was bred to love water they are excellent swimmers and are strong enough to pull a drowning person to shore most of their working abilities are strongly connected to water so if you find yourself being pulled towards the sea the ocean or even a simply puddle of water don't be surprised whatsoever. However, if you are a person who's not really into a huge, wet, filthy dog that needs hours to dry properly and leaves puddles of water inside of your home, then again, this definitely isn't the breed for you because any small bit of water, they will find their way into it. And number one, we're gonna talk about mentality. Now, while many people getting themselves a really large dog for guarding purposes, the Newfoundland is not a typical guard dog. His sheer size and calm demeanor may be awe-inspiring enough to scare off troublemakers, but that has nothing to do with the guarding dog mentality. If you're looking for a fierce dog to guard you and your home, the Newfoundland is, again, not the dog for you. Should you be okay with your dog just being large and to be fair, awesome, then he could be the perfect candidate for you. But in general, the Newfoundland is too kind and gentle to do a really good job as a personal protection dog. For example, a Connie Corso, German Shepherd or Rottweiler might be better suited. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed our five reasons why you should not choose a Newfoundland. And don't worry, we are absolutely going to be doing five reasons why you should choose a Newfoundland. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss that video, as well as the two new dedicated Newfoundland videos that we have coming here to this channel every single week. So I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Newfoundland Show.